ASA firewalls, failover, test. We know how to set up as an active standby failover. We know how to apply it using ASDM, how to check if everything is okay. Now it's time to do a failover test. What I mean by that is we are going to kill one of the boxes. To remind you, ASA, ASA1 is our active firewall. ASA2 is standby. Let me find the window. That's router 1. Should be able to ping the internet. Yes. My primary box. Is active. That's good. That's what I want to see. I will start a ping and repeat that 10,000 times. Now let's stop it. Now, where is my here? Make sure that this second firewall takes over. Timed out. Take a look. A message from the second firewall. Switching to active. Show failover. Now, our backup firewall is active. And the primary says, oh failed. There is no backup firewall. It says unknown. I cannot find a mate connected to outside, inside and so on. What you have to remember, there is no preemption on ASA. ASA is with active standby. If I boot up my primary box, my ASA1, this one will stay active. In HSRP you can specify that. Here in ASAs you have to go and say no failover active to bring it up. Let's try it then. Let's boot it up. I hope I saved the configuration on it. Let me pause the video and I'll be back. ASA01 is ready. Let's type show failover again. We are still active. This time our backup firewall is ready. Make sure you can see everything. It means it's ready. If we want to Make sure that ASA01 is our primary firewall. We type no failover active. Switching to standby. Type show failover. We are standby. Active is ASA1. ASA1, show failover, we are active again. If you want to change that, no, failover, active, show failover. To check failover from the ASDM application we go to monitoring then it is properties failover it's here it will produce the same status you have some pre-configured commands here that you can run thank you very much